What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, you and I will be creating a sketch illustration of the blue beetle. Now I want to begin today's lesson by adding some guidelines in the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. Let's start by adding a line coming down the center. So we'll start at the very top of our page, right in the middle. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now I'm going to use these lines to help us create a circle along the top. So from the center, let's step up towards the top. I'm going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now you want to repeat that same process across this horizontal line. So taking this distance over towards the left and the right side. Now to create our circle, all we need to do is connect the center of each point with a curve. So we're going to start with the top left. I'm just going to rough this in. We always go back and just readjust the shape of our circle. And this doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and placement on our page. Now with our circle in place, let's add two more guidelines along the side of our circle. So we'll start on the left, bring this all the way down, do the same thing on the right. Let's add another guideline across the bottom of our circle. And this is where the eyes are going to sit, along this line. Now you want to add one more set of guidelines in between the eyes. So we're going to leave a gap in the center, let's step over towards the left, draw a straight line going up towards the top, and then we'll extend that all the way down towards the bottom. Again, taking that same distance over towards the left side, and then bringing that all the way down. Now that we have a circle and guidelines, let's place in the eyes. From this point, we're just going to curve the eye going up, and then out towards the side, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's curve the bottom of the eye, and come down, and then pull that back in. Now from here, we just want to mark off the bottom of the chin. So right about here, draw a straight line going across. Let's go halfway between the eye line and this bottom line, and draw another line going across. Now from here, we're going to add some shape to the jawline. Starting from the left side of our circle, we're just going to slope this in, angling this down towards that center line. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the jaw, it's going to angle this down towards this point, towards the chin. Now with the basic shape of the head in place, let's draw on the shoulders. We're going to start from this point, I'm just going to curve the shoulders, going out and then down. Now with the basic shape of the head in place, let's lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch, let's go ahead and add a second level of detail. We're going to start by adding those ear covers on the side of the head. So we start up here, angle this down, line that up on the right. It's going to round this out, coming around and in towards the bottom. And then angle this down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's add that trim across the top of the forehead. We're going to start down here with a point, and then curve this out and then up towards the left and right side. Let's round out the bottom point. Now from the top, we're going to step down. I'm just going to curve this around and then down towards the side of the head. Now from the bottom of the chin, we're going to step up, draw another line going across. Now from the jaw, I'm just going to slope this down and then bend that up towards that line. And I'll just mirror that over on the right. I'm just going to round out the center, going up and then back down. From the corners of the chin, curve this in and up. Now from the inside corner of the eyes, let's add a trim curving this up and then down. Now from here, we're going to add that trim around the eyes. Let's start from the inside corners with a short line coming down. Curve this out and then down towards the side. And bend this down and then in. From the bottom, draw a short line going out towards the side. 
Let's go to the outside corner of the eyes, draw a short angle line going up and out. Now it's going to bend this down and then in towards the bottom line. Now we want to work our way up towards the top. Starting from the outside, bend this in and then out. From the top, slope this down and in. And then from here, curve this down and then into right about there. And this in, and curve that down towards the inside corner of the eye. I want to add a little bit more detail to the face. Let's start from these two points, angle this down and in towards the chin. Let's move it in, curve this up and out. Goes out and then back down. Let's roughen those two spikes along the back of the body. We're gonna start from the left side on top of the shoulder, then this out and then up. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. I wanna bring that up towards the same height. Then we'll bend this in and then down towards the side of the head. Let's bend this up and out towards the outside curve. Now from here we're going to step in, follow that same curve, coming down and in toward the top of the shoulder. Let's add a little bit more detail to the shoulders. Starting on the left, curve around the head and in, curve out and then down. Now once we're happy with a rough sketch, we're going to move to the tip of pencil and start refining the shape and adding some more details. Now I'm going to start with the eyes, so work our way out. Darkening up the lines and coming down across the bottom. I'm just going to flip from left to right just to help balance out our drawing. Let's add a trim along the top of the eye. adding a little bit more detail to that trim around the eyes. Just adding some secondary detail inside the mask. I just want to give a little bit more shape to the jawline, just rounding this out, and then bending that in towards the jaw.
just going back and just adding some minor detail. Now I'm going to add some loose detail to those arms across the back. Now I'm going to place a piece of paper underneath my hand to protect our drawing. Adding a little bit of depth along the inside. Now I'm going to mirror that detail over on the right. So start with that center seam. Working our way in. Some curvature on the outside. And now that we've finished tracing out our contours, we're going to go in and add some shadows. Now we're going to start with the inside edge of the face. So starting from the top left. Now we just want to fade this out towards the side to create a little bit of a highlight. I'm just going to rough this in first, going around that eye patch. Just needing a little strip of light along the outside. Now you can go back to the tipper pencil and just clean up that shadow. Also adding a light shadow in the center to create a highlight strip. Again, going a little bit darker just around the bottom and top of the eyes. We're doing the same thing on the right. So going darker on the top of the eye and fading that in. Now this top trim is going to cast a shadow across the head. So it's going to darken up that shadow just underneath and then blend that down. Now you want to create a bit of a shadow across the bottom of our overlapping parts. Just adding a little bit of a reflective glare across the center. Going a little bit darker and just blending that down. And then from the bottom going up. And using the side Ezra pencil, we're just going to lightly shade in those patches around the eyes.
want to add a reflection along the bottom of the ear cover. So we leave a gap for a highlight, go dark, and just blend that up. Let's add some reflection along the top. I'm going to add some reflection across the top of the head. So I'll start with a curve, a little bit darker on the left, and then fade that out towards the right. Now we just want to soften up that edge. Now the head's going to cast a shadow on top of the body, so we want to darken up the top and then blend that down. And we're also going to shift the shadow over towards the right. and it'll add a rough shade to the rest of the body. Now to make these arms look metallic, we're going to add a highlight on the outside edges. And then just fade that in to get another highlight in the center. Now I'm going to go back and add a final level of detail, starting with some highlights across the top of the head. Now as we get near the end, we're going to add some more textures and shadows and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of the Blue Beetle. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.